On the same subject, a foreteller named Florence from America has sung glory of a saint of India. Nostradamus was a native of France and he also says that in India a saint would appear who will impart true knowledge to the world and will create a pure society which will be devoid of vices. There will be no hatred and no mutual fighting. So in the same context, let us tell you a little bit more. There is an old book which one of the devotees have found. Now our devotees have become discoverers. Wherever or whenever they find a clue, they come to know easily about whom it has been said. Now, the prophecy of Nostradamus or someone else's about that particular saint has been set on various people but it won't fit. For example, you just try to fit an elephant's <laughs> clothes on a bull then how will it fit? <laughs> that will fit on an elephant only to whom it belongs. Please see this. We have a book here. It is an old worn and torn book here. Give it a look. Yug Nirman Ki Sunishchit Sambhavna This is the title of the book. The writer of the book is Balram Singh Parihar Published by Yug Nirman Yojna from Gayatri Tapobhumi Mathura That is all the information we have about this book. Please see here page number 19. This is page number 19. On page number 19 of this book, it is written that after four, four years of independence, a powerful spiritual organization will come to light and will salvage the whole world. The savior would be the leader of that organization. Now what this is that there is a prediction of a foreteller named Hungry whose prediction has been taken by the author to prepare his book. He has prepared his book by listening to others. So he has, according to his own understanding, fit this prediction on someone. What it meant was that in the year 1947, India became independent. After four years of that, Das was born in 1951. What it actually means is that four years after independence, in 1951, a saint will be born who will form such a spiritual organization which will do welfare of the whole world. Here they make a little mistake. Let me show you more. Please see on page number 23. On this page 23 it is written here that the leader of this organization will be a householder. He will become renowned as one of the biggest thinkers of the world so far, that person will formulate a systematic code of conduct on issues ranging from social responsibility to how all the countries in the world can coexist in harmony. If the accumulative thoughts of his whole life are bound together in a book, then it will make a very big book. This is what it means. Please see here on page number 29, page number 29, somewhere in an Asian country, most probably in India, a great soul has taken birth in a humble rural family who will start direct and manage a great spiritual revolution. Behind him, there would be a power of great working souls that will change the current distorted conditions of the world. In 1999, let us see what they have mentioned that such a person has taken birth whose own energy will be equal to any powerful country. He will create a code 
of conduct of one language, one culture and one religion. Please see here on page 43. It is written here that a man with a divine body has taken birth. He will fill happiness in everyone's heart. He will remove miseries from the whole world. He will also rectify the unjust and the cruel. In the first phase of night when I am in deep sleep, then I see a divine man in my dreams, a divine person, sitting near a pond on the forehead of this yogi where the two eyebrows meet, a half moon is visible. He has grey hair, simple attire, he is fair skinned, his complexion is very light and he has non-leather shoes in his feet. He wears non-leather shoes. We have prohibited all the followers from wearing leather shoes. If I am stopping you, then how can I wear them? Now please see on it page number 72. Because we have to also deliver satsang to you along with this. The topic of sanskar impressions of previous life was going on. We will explain some things about it to you in this. See on page 72 of this. It is written here that Nostradamus has also given some indications about the unparalleled great man of the history. This is what is written here. He would have a moon on his forehead. His attire would be very simple meaning he would not wear red or yellow colored clothes. He would not roam around with the lion cloth wrapped around him. He will marry twice. He will have two sons and two daughters. Now here, I will also tell you about Sanskar a little here. Like Nostradamus has written that he will have two sons, two daughters. Das has four children as it is. And these foretellers that there are or these philosophers can only see what is going to happen in the future, what has already been determined by God. The one who is going to determine it is God. Whenever the right time comes, he can even amend it. That is his will. And you know, it is written in this that he will marry twice. So, pious souls, God eliminated this fate of this thus. Two marriages were predetermined, must be. If they are seeing this, then they are not seeing anything incorrect. And four children were also destined to be born and they took birth too. Now, taking birth is not enough. Further, their upbringing, marriages, it was a very big task. It was a massive debt between us. That is why they came to me as my children. So. In 1988, Das obtained initiation. In 1994, Das got this job. Had I not been in the refuge of God Almighty, I would have had to live with those very children and then pay their debts. Then God Himself paid their debt and took Das in His refuge. This Das used to work as a junior engineer. That is a J's job in Haryana, irrigation department and also nobody should think this or become suspicious that he might be struggling to sustain himself that is why he might have left the small job no we were sustaining ourselves well so the purport is god by taking das in his refuge i had only married off the eldest son and the elder daughter two children were still studying at that time this das got engaged in the feet of god by relinquishing my job and today, those children are no less than the other children. Meaning God raised them at the same level as the others. God did what Das was supposed to do and God eliminated my sanskar. Otherwise, I would have remained entangled in them. Then how would I have delivered this invaluable knowledge to you? And the second was marriage. 
and had I married twice, I would have remained busy there. God even cancelled that. Now what would have happened? There is a short joke. A person had two marriages due to some reason. The first wife had no children. So after a few days, the two wives started quarrelling a lot with each other. So the parents of both the women came and advised that keep them separate one on the room above and the other one below. Okay. Then they again started quarrelling. One said that he does not come to me. He keeps having food downstairs. Then they ended that dispute. The parents of both the women came again. They said that, do one thing. One day he will have food downstairs and one day he will have food upstairs. They said that he will have food downstairs on Akam and upstairs on Dviti. Downstairs on third day, upstairs fourth day, this is how he will eat. What happened one day, the Chhat and the Satam came on the same day. Now as soon as he entered through the door, his wife who lived downstairs held one of his hands. The other one caught his hand and pulled him upstairs. She took him upstairs. Then the other one ran after him and pulled him downstairs saying that today is Satam. The other one said no it is Chhat today. They damaged his knees in this rehearsal. So pious souls, had I had two marriages, my knees would have been damaged. God showed mercy and sorted it out in one marriage only. Then what happened? These two marriages are said to be so bad once that same person had a theft. The thief was caught. A village meeting was held. It was decided in the village meeting that he whose wealth has been stolen should decide what punishment should be given. To this thief, he who has had two marriages was already very distressed. He said, get him two wives. When Chhat and Satam will come on the same day, then I will see him. So, due to this Chhat Satam, God changed this fate of this Das. Masa ghatena til badhe Vidna likhe julek Sacha satguru mate kar Upar mare mekh